Revelations chapter number 8 verse number 6 and the seven angels which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound amen we are in Revelations the 8th chapter and we are on verse number 6 amen verse number 5 talks about let's read verse number five and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth and there were voices and thundering and lightning and an earthquake amen amen after this angel took this censer and hurled it into the earth Amen. I, I just can imagine this sensor flying down there with those flames and when it hit the earth, voices, thunders, lightning, earthquakes. And then the angels was about to sound. Amen. Amen. Let's go back and let's just review and let's recap a little bit. As we said before, the book of Revelations has four distinct parts to it. In other words, it has four different groups of seven. We have in chapters two and three, we have the seven churches that the book was addressed to, the Lamb of God. Amen. It went through and he gave them distinct messages. And here we have at the bottom where you can find it at in the book of Revelations. We have it here at the top, the name of the church, and we have a summary of the different things of the church amen so we have a summary right here this is a summary of the first group of seven the seven churches amen if you want to you can pause the screen and then take a closer look at that but now let's move on to our second set of sevens amen so in our second set of sevens we have here the seven seals Amen. And that's in Revelation 6, chapter 7, verse. And we start out right here with the four horsemen, which is the first, second, third, and fourth seal. Then once again, we have a summary. And then down here at the bottom, we have corresponding scriptures that are in the book of Matthew. When Jesus himself, once again, gave the apostles a timeline of end time events. Amen. Amen. So we have that. Then, after we get through with that set of seven, we are on our third set of sevens, which is the seven trumpets. Amen. And once again, we have the various trumpets named right here. We have the various uh, locations in the book of Revelations. And once again, we have a summary of those trumpets when those trumpets were sound okay so we did all that now we said that to try to bring us up to speed when the seven angels got ready to blow their seven trumpets what was going on when the trumpets was about to blast it was a day of reckoning a day of the Lord and we're gonna read that in Joel the second chapter very shortly but we had some events that had taken place which will cause this to happen as we can see as we went through the first four horsemen of apocalypse with the seals the Antichrist or Antichrist rose to the throne in the first seal amen then after that there was war we know Antichrist and we're gonna get into that later had first used a, a mask of peace to win the people but invariably it involved into a war in fact global war world war amen so that's where the second seal then we have the third seal and then we as a result of the war we had famine then as a result of war and famine we have deaths and it says that a quarter of the world population will perish and that's 1.75 billion people at a minimum of 7 billion people as a population so then verse number five what we have here 
are the martyrs. Amen. The souls that were under the altar. Countless number of souls that were persecuted and killed unjustly. Amen. As a result of all this going on with Antichrist, with the beast of the earth, amen, uh, tortured, all those souls and all souls in the altar crying out to God saying, how long, how long before you judge? Amen. And then we move on to the sixth seal. Then the sixth seal talks about the earthquake. The sixth seal is just packed, just packed packed with events. It talks about the earthquakes. It talks about the stars falling from heaven. It talks about the men hiding themselves. It talks about the 144,000 that were sealed from the coming events. Sealed from what? Sealed from the events that are going to happen with the seven trumpets. But then it talks about there was a great silence in the earth. Amen. And then it talks about the souls that were before the throne of God that came out of the great persecution or the great tribulation. The souls that came out. And once again, this was countless number of souls. So you had a innumerable number of souls that were came out or killed in the sixth seal. Then you had a numeral among of souls that were killed in the fifth seal. So now that brings us to the trumpets. And what is this trumpets? These trumpets are God wrath on the individuals that murdered and killed all of those believers. Amen. That's what this seal is. Amen. Let's go over and read the book of Joel. And we're going to try to read some of it. If you have time, please read all of this. This is some good reading. We're just going to read some of it. Joel, the second chapter, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Amen. You can go on and read the rest of this. We can see that the day of the Lord is marked distinctly in verse 1 by blowing of the trumpets. This prophecy that God gave Joel. A day of gloominess, a day of darkness. Amen. If you read all of this, the, uh, God really goes into detail about how horrible. He said that this is going to be a time such as never was before. Neither shall be after it. That's talking about the great tribulation. That's talking about this day of the Lord. This end time when God's going to judge for this wickedness. For this martyrdom. For killing all of those individuals. Amen. And then if you go down and you keep reading Joel. The 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st verses are exactly what Peter quoted. In the book of Acts on the day of Pentecost. Amen. So you see how this Joel, the second chapter, flows right into our revelations. Eighth chapter, sixth verse, when the angel is about to blow. And then we're going to get into the details of this day of darkness. We're going to get into details of this day of gloominess. We're going to get into details about what's going to happen. To those wicked individuals that had persecuted God's people. Amen. God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all things. We ask that you have your way. Be glorified and be magnified. We praise you and bless you. We give you the glory and help your people everywhere. Give them strength. Help them to stand tall and be strong in your name. Thank God. Amen. Have a wonderful day.